Todd Gurley's revival has been critical to Rams' surprising early season success. Rams coach Sean McVay has done a tremendous job turning around his team's fortunes so far this season. The Rams sit atop the NFC West after a 33-0 shutout win over the Arizona Cardinals in London moved their record to 5-2 on the year. While McVay's development of second-year quarterback Jared Goff has been well documented, it's the revival of running back Todd Gurley that has been perhaps most crucial to the Rams' success so far. After a fantastic rookie campaign that saw him named Defensive Rookie of the Year, Gurley struggled mightily during his second season. Gurley averaged just 3.2 yards per carry in 2016 and the Rams' offense went nowhere as a result. But McVay has Gurley back playing to his best, calling plays that allow him to work in space, where he can show off his fantastic athletic ability. Here, the Rams run a crack toss. Two receivers to the left of the formation crack down on the edge defenders, allowing the left tackle and guard to pull around to the edge. Goff tosses the ball to Gurley, who is able to secure the toss and then work to the edge with blockers in front of him. From there, it's all about Gurley's ability to make his cut and get up the field, running over the safety on his way to an 11 year gain. With McVeigh doing his best to find space for Gurley to work with, Gurley's confidence as a runner has improved. Last year, it was visible how he almost expected to get hit in the backfield behind the line of scrimmage. He lacked the power and burst that enabled him to break a tackles in his rookie year. But with his confidence in his blocks restored, Gurley is now running with intent and making defenders miss again. On this play, the Rams run an inside zone play to the right, with receiver to Van Osting faking a jet sweep action the other way. That jet sweep fake is designed to hold the backside edge defender in place, effectively blocking him and allowing the offensive line to pick up one more player on the play side. But the Cardinals' edge defender isn't fooled and crashes down on Gurley, but Gurley isn't phased and calmly cuts back behind the unblocked defender, making him miss in the backfield. He then takes his run to the left side, stiff-arming a safety to the ground and turning the corner on his way to a 18-yard touchdown. Gurley's success this year hasn't just been limited to running the ball, either. He's become a viable receiving option, co-leading the team in both receptions and touchdown catches. McVay's schemes to find him space have applied in the passing game, too. Here, the Rams have Gurley simply work out to the flat. But they have their receiver to the left lined up inside the numbers for a reason. His route is designed to create traffic for the linebacker trying to cover Gurley outside. The play works exactly as it's drawn up with the linebacker being caught up in traffic, leaving Gurley wide open in the flat. Gurley makes the catch and turns up the sideline for an easy 8 yards before stepping out of bounds. He's become a threat as a check down target, too, with the ability to turn a 5 yard dump off into a big play. This time, Gurley lines up to the right of Goff in the backfield. He checks his protection duties, but the Cardinals only rush four, allowing him to release into his route. Gurley works against an underneath linebacker in coverage, breaking to the left. Goff feels pressure arriving and dumps the ball off to Gurley. Gurley secures the catch and then runs away from the linebacker, who can't prevent him from turning the corner and bursting down the sideline where he nearly manages to elude Aaron Matthew as he fights for every possible yard to fully maximize the play. Gurley turned a simple check down into a 35-yard catch and run. McVeigh's schemes to work him into space combined with Gurley's outstanding athletic ability have reinvigorated the Rams' offense and given them a foundation upon which to build. This has been just as critical to their success this season as Goff's development. Read more from the post. NFL confirms Justin Timberlake as Super Bowl halftime performer. Steelers Juju Smith-Schuster and Le'Veon Bell have a great hide-and-seek celebration. Redskins Toro Pryor Sr. has all of the right stuff. Now he needs to make plays. Joe Thomas's consecutive snap streak is over, and somehow things got worse for the Browns. The Green Bay Packers played without Aaron Rodgers, and it went about how